Pac-Man. I mean, it's based on Pac-Man. I'm gonna start so, recording again. Okay. Hey, we're cutting in in weird parts, but... Hi. We, we didn't have issues starting the stream. No, never. When has that ever happened? Oh, it always runs smoothly. Smooth as goddamn silk. Smooth as paper? Oh, shit. Oh. Paper Mario. They know that. They can read. I feel like I explain <laughs> this every time. Why does everyone always act like it's a secret what they're playing? The video think, title. I don't, called. I don't think people act like a secret. It's just like... I don't know, maybe they're... Maybe they're telling themselves it so they can get excited People are always like going up, all right, I got a really cool secret game for you all today. It's like it's in the title. Your video is titled. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I know what you mean. It's like, I got a really big, I really got a big surprise for you guys today. Guess what? I'm playing Dick Smasher 8000. Oh, fuck. I love Dick Smasher 420. Hell yeah. Smash Dick every day. Anyway, uh, this is like the intro. <laughs> Peach is going to get hung? No, it's the bad place. Yeah. It's the hive of scum and hangery. It's a pretty bad place. <laughs> Anywhere that's just got a gallows in the middle of it is like, really up there, yeah. Like... <laughs> I mean, they also named it Rogue Ports. I don't know what they thought they were getting into when they named it that. Yeah. Sorry in advance if you don't read everything. Um, I'll try my best too. But this part, I can't, like, stop and read it because it just plays on its own. Yeah, the game is very loud. Is it? Yeah, the game means a little louder than us. I'll turn it down. All right. Wait, are you like gonna you gonna you gonna read everything out loud or you or what? Uh, I'll try to. No, you don't have to read out loud. People can read. I don't know. I kind of want to though. It's my first <laughs> time playing this. No, like, I'm not saying don't read everything. I'm just saying you don't have to read everything out loud. My thing is, there's a lot of text in this game. I know, I know. I just, I don't know. I thought it would be fun. I thought Sorry. it would be. I thought I would have a good time doing it. Well, that's not trying to stop you. Duh. I don't know. There might be a desync. Mm. Okay. I don't know how to check that. You might just have to wait to check that. I don't know how you tell so far. We don't have any control over anything. Right. Well, whatever. I'm going to get started. Let me know if there actually is a desync. I'll check. Hitting start now. You're pretty quiet, though. I'm pretty quiet? Yeah. All right. I'll turn myself up a bit more. How's that? A little bit better? Also, uh, up, up, side, down, side, up, down, up, down. Guys, gotta let me know what's going on. Oh, it's fine as far as sync goes? Okay, cool. Uh, file one, new game. Yeah, I think it's fine. Uh, I'm just gonna name it Nick. Alright. I think everything's good other than the volume. I can't do a great job checking it, so if anyone thinks volume. Yeah. yeah, I think seems kinda loud. Still. Yeah, you gotta you gotta really crank it down. Like it, it's overpowering us. Okay, I turned it down a bunch more. Alright. And I'm you could turn yourself up some more too. All right, I think I'm fine. I turned myself up a bunch. I know, but on the stream, I'm just much louder than you. Well, I mean, you are in general. Yeah, but like in a way that's like, we don't sound like we're. All right, turn it up a bit more. Uh, his pictures arrive. Oh wait, which part? From... I thought if there was a paper Mario. No, it was a. Uh... Mario and Luigi, where he starts in the shower. 
or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, w- wait. Isn't that just regular Paper Mario? Charles, I can't... Uh, I don't think so. All right, I'll turn myself up. No, I think it's... I don't think it's regular Paper Mario. I don't know. Can you myself a position? No, could... Yeah? No, you know, it might be Superstar Saga. Yeah, that's why I was saying Mario and Luigi. I know, I know. I just The beginning of that game is like 10 minutes long. Because I always think of the beginning as being... You do the whole Bowser fight, then you go on the ship, then you land into Bean Bean Land, then you fucking go through that whole thing, collect 10 coins and learn how to play the game's platforming, you have to hop the border. Like, there's like five, ten different steps to the, to the opening of that game. So I think you're right, it's just... God damn, I love Super, Superstar Saga. It's pretty good. It's such a good game. It ruins all the other uh, Mario and Luigi RPGs. Right, I only played through a bit of it, so... Yeah, but it, it, it's... It just does the mechanics very well, and the later ones just kind of fall much more flat in the in the systems in the game, I feel. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's weird. A lot of the RPG, the Mario RPGs, seem to get worse over time. Yeah. Yeah, kinda. I think they keep trying to innovate. It's like I can't take a stick. I haven't played all of Inside Story. I have it. I've been meaning to get to it. I just keep playing um, Rocket Slime though. I love Rocket Slime. I like how those are your two opposing factors. Inside yes. Story and Rocket Slime. Well, I turn on my DS, my 3DS, I'm like, all right, time to play a game. I'm going to play Rocket Slime. Excuse me, sir. Yeah, Partners in Time was like, I bought it. You know, I played the hell out of it, but not as good. And, I don't know. I think, yeah, Thousand Year Door is pretty much the, the standard of my RPGs, I feel. Those bombs are cute. You're going to be saying that about, like, every character in this, every character in this game is cute. Goddamn right. <laughs> They add. They have everything's got personality. So there's a princess for you. Like, like those ones got bones for a spinning dealie because it's a fucking pirate. It's gonna kick your ass. <laughs> yeah, the boat. I love the boat. <laughs> the boat's pretty Whoop. great. All right. What do you have to say? Safe bar. There's, there's a lot of lot of really strong design in this game. Like both in um, just the concept, the way everything looks, uh, the, the the art style is really cool. But then just there's like no reusing of stuff that doesn't feel appropriate in some way. You know, like it's just very well put together. Yeah. Super Mario 64 is the last Mario RPG you played. That's interesting. Lord Crump. Excuse me, I'm going to be quiet quite a bit because I'm reading. Yep, I'm going to be quiet because I can't see what Nick's reading. Yeah, I mean, you can. I'm not reading that fast. <laughs> X not so rad. Okay, wait, do you think... I, okay, Nick, Lord Crump here. Is yeah. that a beard or a collar? See, it's definitely a collar on the other guys, but for him, yeah. because the color's different. And because of the horns, it looks like he's got, like, a big red beard. A little bit. But it could just be a fucking big man collar. I guess so. You're not going to go help immediately? You're like, ah. I'll just see what these people have to say. <laughs> you want their opinion on someone being accosted. Yeah, I also didn't talk to this person. <laughs> 
Look, I know someone needs my help, but hey, this pirate might uh might have something cool. You owe her money? All right, now it's help. <laughs> if you want Nick's help, you have to thoroughly entertain him first. It's true. It's the reason I'm safe when Nick's around. But anyone else, yeah. I don't know. That's the reason why you're safe in general. Because <laughs> they entertain everyone enough that everyone will jump in to help. Yeah. That was... Hello. That turned into a compliment. <laughs> it was always a compliment and never an insult. Hey, Flare25, thanks for coming. Oh, I already have a hammer? Yeah, dude. Neat. Dude, you're, you're, you're like, you're the princess's best friend. You got, you got tons of shit. Like a hammer and, uh, yeah. And boots. You, oh, man. <laughs> Gotta have those boots. Oh shit, hold left. Oh yeah, you can't let go of your controller. Well, I mean, I did that with my chin, because I was drinking water. Oh fuck, Nick's got the pro strats. Nick's gonna play the whole game with just his chin. Ah, I fucked it up. Nah, but, like, this, this is the reason that I, I, I like these kind of Mario RPGs, is that you can actually, there's actually stuff to do the whole time. Yeah. Because I don't get bored. Also, Lord Crump, I really feel like he follows the rule of he's got a spiky thing on his head. You shouldn't be able to jump on him. I mean, he's got a spiky thing on the sides of his head. It's hard to jump. What are you... He's got two spiky things. He's got two feet. That is a lot of little dudes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's great. Uh, yeah, Thousand Year Door is really good. And I don't know. I don't know what Team MC is. If you could explain I... it, I would greatly appreciate that. Yeah, let us know what that is. Yeah, they're kind of rounded, but if you jumped, like, with enough force to hurt someone onto, a, like, a kind of round spike, it would still hurt, even with plumber boots. The strongest of all boots. Yeah. I love all these X-Nots, because they're just fucking... <laughs> they're just loving it. <laughs> they're, just, they're just jumping around. Yeah, they're doing fun. They're doing what they do. I want to be an x knot. I can jump on shit. Is that what they're called? x knots? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This group is the x knots. Okay. You may have noticed they're X. I You'll did You'll never guess that. what it stands for. Oh. Tell them we said thanks? Oh, yeah, that's cool. Neato. I will. Look, I threw my phone across the room. I'll look into that later. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Goombella. No we are definitely to... small. Except for me, I am large. He is a but... very large. But as a concept, we are small. That famous guy. <laughs> I like that Mario is just actually famous. <laughs> yeah, but he should be. He fucking gets, like, stopped at, like, an evil dictator's entire nation of power, like, a million times. <laughs> but similar, similar, at the same time, he's famous... But he gets no respect. No, absolutely not. He's got, like, a, he's got a shitty mustache. Why would he get respect? Oh, <laughs> Nick. They you say that a bunch. No. In this series. In Superstar Saga, there is a stat that is called mustache. And if you have a good stash, it gives you benefits. You could grow your mustache for benefits. So you're, you're factually wrong. You can, do more, you can do more damage. You can get better deals with a sick-ass mustache. That doesn't mean his mustache is good right now. It's, shut up, it's great. <laughs> Fucking monster. How do you hate Mario's mustache? I don't. I just I'm just saying a lot of people in the games are like, oh, you got a crap mustache. Yeah, and a lot of Look people in the games shaggy. follow Bowser. Beat you up. Who doesn't seem to have any clear goals or like uh, like rulings. He just kinda exists and like, yeah, that guy, I'll do what he says. Oh, it's Toadsworth. <laughs> Fucking dodging the questions. <laughs> Hell yeah, I gotta start somewhere. Also, this guy, this, this Mario Sunshine man beating up dudes. Yeah, I was just taking a moment to uh, enjoy that. Yeah, it's really good. Fun fact, in the speedrun, you, um, 
you cannot finish this conversation until the thing in the background ends. Oh, really? Yes, yeah, so no matter how fast you mash through it, that whole thing has to play out. That's amazing. Yeah, because they make you watch that. <laughs> Which is kind of cool, because normally you would just kind of stop to watch it while you're doing it. So it's a good way of introducing um, an element into the game without having to like do a full-on introduction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ellsworth, don't you have, like, one job? It He really does. I mean, he might have multiple jobs, but we only know of the one. But, like, the, he's got a he's got one main job. Like, if your job is to look after someone's cat while they're gone for the week, your main job is to keep the cat safe. And then there's, like, you know, feed it, give it attention, clean it, you know, all, all the stuff down the list. The first one is keep it safe. Yeah. Like... It's the main job. And I do think Princess Peach is kind of like a cat. She gets distracted easily. Uh, yeah, that sounds about right. Kind of, oh. Oh. Mario. Oh. Oh, I say. <laughs> Anyways, how do you like Groombarella? Um, it's all right so far. Well, get ready to hang out with her for a while. Yeah, I know. She's your best friend. Goomba she actually joined my party. She works just the same as the um the Goomba from Paper Mario One. Yeah, I figured. Um, which is a good ability to have. The tattle. Yeah. Or whatever hers hers isn't tattle, but it's the same concept. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. I think it's it's a good starting ability. Yeah. Because it lets you learn more about the game, and also it doesn't give you anything that good that you can really do super well. Wow. What a poor life this man has. Who? Goomther. Always oh. complaining about getting mugged and swindled. <laughs> yeah. Dude, he lives, he lives in Rogueport. It's fucking bad there. Everyone in Rogueport sucks. First off, we gotta go find our professor. Yeah. I do like, though, the reason she um, can tell you about everything makes more sense, I feel. Because she's a college student. Yeah, also, you'll see it. When she gets in a fight and does it, she takes out a book and reads it. Yeah. Like, she's looking up information. Like, it just kind of... Makes more sense than just like a six year old going, Oh, look at that nerd. They're that nerd eats boogers. There are credit cards in the Mario universe? Hell yeah. There's everything in the Mario universe. How do you think Peach got so rich? Like, dude, imagine, okay, imagine you and I get a, P get a PS4 or it'll be like a P uh, Mushroom 4 360U in the Mario universe. You're not going to bring 400 physical coins with you. you got to have something else. God, you can think about the logic in Mario games. Come on. I bet that is how you get so much money. Your spouse is running a credit card scam all the time. Oh, maybe. Makes sense. To, to be fair, if I had giant gold coins, I'd pay for everything with that, too. Yeah, no, I definitely would. Like, how much fun would it be? You just pull into the into the Burger King, like, 3 a.m. It's like, I want five cheeseburgers. Like, all right, that's going to be six bucks. And you just toss a bunch of money in there. You're like, yeah, I'm a fucking cool kid. And not an asshole. <laughs> but, uh, Nick, don't break your contact lens. Oops. Dick. Compensate me. Yeah. See, the problem is you walk backwards. Okay. I like that as a reason for you can't leave. Yeah, it, it, it's actually like... It makes more sense than just some guy going like, Oh, no, I'm... There's road work or something. I'm looking at some footprints. Go away. In one of the Pokemon games, I think I just fall asleep. Um, yes. God, that's the worst. 
like at least Snorlax, it's like a cold quest, you know. Just some dude is like, just wake him up. Yeah. Just, just go. <laughs> yeah, that, that's at least like a nice, you know. Okay, someone someone actively dislikes you. <laughs> There's other like stupid stuff for why you can't leave in other games like i think it's earthbound where you can't leave because people are watching ants or something <laughs> wait isn't that one with the psyducks where they just all have headaches and they just stand there oh uh, that's a different one uh that guy probably stole my wallet oh yeah yeah he did he didn't take all of it he just took most of it or half of it you can go get it back I might. Um, but you have to, like, find him. He's... I'm gonna find him. One thing that's annoying about that is that the store was in the last room, and if you knew you were gonna get robbed, you theoretically could have just gone and spend all your money. He depresses me. <laughs> uh... Maybe he's in here. Oh, here. Here he is. Yep. You got him. Only real life was this easy. Yay. Yeah, that was so easy. It really was. <laughs> the innocent guys... looking people in this town are thieves. <laughs> no one looks innocent. What were you saying? I'm saying no one looks innocent. No, before that. Before I, I don't know. His, Great. His hideout looks like shit. It does. I get why he's stealing money if he wants to get a better place. Wanted Goomba. There's a thief in another town. Then he came down. I needed to hide, so I came out to rope for it. As I told you, you need to take your... <laughs> Alright, now keep it a secret, Okay. Don't tell anyone. Just wants you everyone to think he's cool. He is cool. Oh yeah, there's, there's a ton of stuff in the hub world that you need um, various power ups to get. Okay. Yeah. yeah so there's a lot of stuff like either um, there's certain like I like attack item stuff you can do in the real world or like abilities. Y you know, usual um, reoccurring hub world stuff. So, oh, it's the fortune teller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know how this thing works, kind of. Oh, here he is. Yeah, yeah fortune teller is for later. Gumbriel. Eliza Goom. Fun fact about the professor, and more so his room, um, because part of the 100% category for this game is uh, tattling every single enemy in the game. Yeah. Um, any enemy that's a single occurrence, their information will show up in his trash can after you beat them. Oh. So like bosses or just any one-time only enemy that you can't, fight again we'll pop from his trash can neat yeah i think it's a good that's a good feature i think if you want to have that's 100 percent qualification for your game i mean i never i never did it because <laughs> fuck 100 percent of this game yeah especially if you have to tattle everything oh my that's... god right imagine that like it's just oh it's rough <laughs> granted i usually tattle most things because I want to know how much health it has, but yeah, I think you're gonna get an ability or a badge or something at some point that'll tell you. I don't remember, but that is a good point. That is a good point to tattling. I think I just play this game very haphazardly. Yeah, I got pretty good in the first Paper Mario about like, all right, how much, how much damage should I do at this point in what order and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. I think 
I mean, it's a good idea when you first enter a new area and there's an enemy you know you'll hear, like, you can just tell by the area you're going to be reoccurring them a lot. It's just good to know. But at the same time, I think via fighting them over, like, two or three times, you'll just kind of learn how much health they have in general. Yeah. So, I don't know. That's a legendary treasure. You must first collect all seven crystal stars. All right, Nick. What do you think the legendary treasure for hidden behind the thousand-year door is? Um, um, enlightenment? No, dummy. <laughs> That's not a treasure. The friends you made along the way? Oh, fuck off. <laughs> You 100 percent in this game? How? God. All right, hang on. Humana, hubbity, hubida, humpity, hubida, humala, huffala, huffala. Really? What? Just yeah, I, could... I, I had to read that. Kumite, how have you 100 percented every single game we choose to play? <laughs> and yet, he can't beat the first boss of Bloodborne. <laughs> oh, that's I'm mean. sorry. That's fucking mean. <laughs> Besides. See, this guy is why I don't read books. If you learn a lot of stuff, your eyes get start looking really stupid. I mean, some people think it's cool. Who thinks that looks cool? Is this your way of saying I think this is cool without me fighting you about it? Nick, have Poss you been reading again? <laughs> Possibly. Are you just defending yourself because your eyes are slowly turning into weird, dumb spirals? It's possible nerd that guy with the that guy with the gonzo beak i want to talk to him you can i'm going to <laughs> okay. okay looks like gonzo <laughs> he does he does look like gonzo <laughs> i also I like how chill true. those guys look like they're either it's like yeah all right i can take you um i guess i'll pay Hell yeah, man. No, it's more like Seamus is just anti-reading. Books are for nerds. But speaking of books, I've been reading a cool book um, recently about H.H. Uh, H. Holmes and the man who was the main architect for the um, Chicago World's Fair at the time H.H. H. Holmes was operating his murder castle. So it's really interesting because it's about the kind of the dichotomy of um, both representing America, like one building up you know, this big extravagance of the world, showing what the world can produce, and the other man showing what America can produce, which is murder. We're yeah. really good at murder, guys. We're pretty good at it. Yeah. Anyways, who wants to hear more about H.H. H. Holmes and its murder castle? Because I know um, way too much. I don't, I don't think anyone does. No, no one does. I know it. Anyway. Yeah, we are like a, we're like an after-school special and, and how to be a loser. I'm good. Too late, Nick. You're already you already took in the natural school special. <sighs> I forgot I forgot how cool the paper like pipes. Oh is. yeah, the transitions. Yeah. There's a lot of them too. It's really nice. He was the original Triple H, and that and then he was the Cerebral Assassin because he. He actually That's murdered people. people. Yeah. Yeah, he was actually scary in a big dick G, not... Not Triple H. H. No. H.H. H. Holmes is a fucking monster. But... Ooh, they look cool. Triple H wants him to think he's a monster. God, Triple H is the fucking worst. Alright, I already read that. I like that guy. 
Red green. Uh, uh. Fortune tellers in this game are mostly just hints, right? Um, yeah, this one is. The other one you talk to um, is not a fortune teller. Oh, okay. The one, the one in the upper world, actually very useful. Um, I'm just gonna say, on their door they had the uh, the shine sprite from uh, Sunshine Mario, Mario Sunshine. I saw that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So just remember that next time you see one of those. It'll. You know, you gotta know you're gonna lose a fight if you're like a regular looking Goomba and you see a Goomba who's got like personalized clothing on them. Or any kind of color scheme. Oh, you just know you're gonna get fucked. Yeah. Just, oh fuck, that guy's got a hat that like not the rest of us have. Oh god damn it. <laughs> I don't know anything about his friend, but I'm sure his friend is gonna eat my ass. That guy, that guy is slightly more blue. We're fucked. <laughs> Oh, fuck, man. Fuck, why'd you have to eat the... Try and steal that guy's yogurt. He's blue, man. 